previously recorded plays the first four hours of Soma. I don't. I actually don't know anything about this game. I'm gonna look up. Um, I'm gonna look up the uh, the wiki on it. All right, ready. Soma is a sci-fi horror game from Fictional Games, the creators of Amnesia The Dark Descent. It is an unsettling story about identity, consciousness, and what it means to be human. Uh. So it's a, it's a survival horror game. Okay. And it's about robots who think they're people. So we're a robot. <laughs> That's your, your guess in that right away? Yeah. All right. Are you okay, Simon? I think you're bleeding. Oh, that, that's nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. Here, take this. Aww. Uh, none of this is real. I'm a robot, obviously. <laughs> is the twist that you're not a robot? Because you don't introduce something like that and then talk about Philip K. Dick right. without you being a robot. <laughs> You know what that is? Not a copywritten piece of artwork. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go to that fucking doctor. Let's go learn that I'm a robot. Will this hurt? It's just a scan. It'll hurt about as much as getting your picture taken. Indians thought cameras would steal their souls. Is that so? Well, let's hope they're wrong. <laughs> You won. <laughs> Rich solved the problem <laughs> with his brain. <laughs> la 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 Ready? <laughs> and <laughs> oh, I didn't even make it. I didn't even make it. You are one weak ass robot. Figure this problem out. No! I've been foiled by oh! this wall. No! <laughs> Apparently, suicide is against my programming. <laughs> I mean, I'm well, not being in hate with this. I mean, what is the appeal? It's more about like world immersion and, and less about gameplay, and I guess people like that. See, I don't know. I find it hard to get immersed in a world when everything you have to do is so pre planned and yep. scripted. You're just looking for the next button you're supposed to hit. Right. I, all, I'm do, all I'm doing is see this little dot in the middle of the screen? Yeah. What can I rub this against to progress? That adorable little guy. Oh. Well, and you know, that's the real problem with games like this is like, it's not, it's not even just like, what am I supposed to do next? It's like, oh, here's the only thing I can do. Yes. So I guess that's the thing I need to do. Yes. Can I help? It won't let me die. Nothing is allowed to die. That's pretty creepy. Yeah. What happened? 
Huh? Oh, so you have to kill her too? Oh. No, sorry. No, sorry. No. No, there's gonna be no way you can progress unless you do this. Oh. Oh, yep, power supply stable now. Yeah. <laughs> Bullshit. But, so, but here's here's the rough part, and this is this is why this is like the the rough part when you're trying to tell an arty story with a game. It's like, I just pulled that because it was a thing I could touch. <laughs> you didn't know why you were doing it. I didn't know why I was doing it. If if you, didn't, if you thought, oh, the only way I can get through is if I do this. Oh, my God. And it was the same with uh, with Ron or yeah, whatever. Carl. right? Where he's like, oh, here's a thing I can touch. We didn't even know we had to torture him or not. We played around with it until we could progress. And so, like, I think that's bad game design. You need to make sure that the player reaches the story point first. If you want that emotional impact. Yes. yes. Yeah. Do we know where we're going? Or we're just looking for the next thing to hit? I'm just I'm following the path, looking for the next thing to hit. <sighs> this, this seems like a really neat idea. And I'm really kind of down with the story. But I just wish I didn't have to play it. <laughs> Yeah. Everybody's a robot, post-apocalypse. Like, this is exactly the kind of book that I would love. <laughs> you know? <laughs> what is happening? I don't what know. What spooky thing is happening? I don't know. They're just playing music. <laughs> gameplay? We don't need that. <laughs> Who needs gameplay? This is a game. It's a horror game. Just walk around, do stuff. Yeah, every once in a while, we'll just get, we'll get a bassoon. The, <laughs> the bassoon will go. <laughs> oh, that's creepy. Look, he's like a naked man. Eh, eh, run. Eh, you're not running good enough. Eh, eh. Where, where are we going, mister? Not, oh my god! No! <laughs> I don't know the way to go! <laughs> he chose the wrong direction. Oh. When you die, you see Asian ladies. <laughs> so we just played the first four hours of Soma. Yeah. What do we have to say? Uh, here's my summation. Really interesting story. Ruined by utterly mediocre gameplay. There is no gameplay. <laughs> like, you can't even call it a stealth game. There's just, like, one monster, and he's kind of comically easy to avoid, except mm. in the the running sequence where mm. I just... It's path memorization. Yeah. I think I'm real. I'm more excited to go to Wikipedia and read the spoilers than I am to play the game more. Not Not every story needs to be a game. And I no, I, I like just as a science fiction fan. Yeah. Like some of the concepts in there with your your consciousness and mm. digital consciousness, if they copy your brain, is it really you? Yeah. That's some that's some good deep shit. Yeah. That's some science fiction shit. I love that. Yeah. Great. Do you want to play it anymore? I want to read the spoilers on Wikipedia. <laughs> Great. Wait. <laughs> <laughs>